Hello, hello, hello. Hello out there. I'm going to try to get to it. I want to get right to it, but I want to first thank my subscribers. I love you guys. I appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. And But um, this is my tiara tonight, and um, so that's what it represents, my tiara. And it's going to play in what I have to say. Now, I only come on when I have something to say or when I feel like it's hot on my tongue, like I can't believe it. Because I only do things because of that. Like I'll, when I start talking to my husband, I know it's something bothering me and it's time to get on here. Here's the deal. I was watching Angela Living and I know I'm probably pronouncing her, her, in her last name incorrectly, but you guys know exactly what I'm, who I'm talking about. Levin. It's Levin. And very wise. We love her. She's awesome. But she says that they've won this one. And she's referring to the titles Prince and Princess. And my last video, I said, are they winning? And then I started talking to my husband. I was like, honey, I said, doesn't it sound like Megan's getting what she wants? The plan that she put in place? Isn't she, isn't she the puppet? over here and over there because honestly the royal family has only said one thing and that recollections may vary and that oh Harry can't wear the uniform you know but everything else has been in step they haven't missed a beat you know he was at the funeral he did exactly what everybody else did except for you know him and Andrew couldn't because of their decisions and it wasn't a punishment decision. It's just, that's the rules. He can't wear the uniform. I don't want to go off into that. But the point is, is that they're winning. Because every time they whine and complain about something, they get it. And what I don't understand about this too, and it, it homes in on me. Who, who thought it was a good idea to, tell, to, to give them these titles without the permission of the king first? My first thought was, my video is, shouldn't he be getting, shouldn't they be getting permission before they make an announcement? They made the same announcement during Mexit. When Mexit came, it was like they decided to post it on their website that they were leaving and wanted privacy. Then, all of a sudden, Megan comes out with this docuseries because she wants to explain to us the real reason why she left. And I'm still confused. I'm still confused on what the hell made her run out of there like that. Not nothing. Hollywood did. The celebrity life did. That's why she left. But since she's going to tell that fictitious story, I'll just tell you the flip side. But let's move on. Because in the docuseries, Harry states this. He says that the, royal, the family knows. Everybody knows that me and Megan have been trying to get out of here for months. For a couple of years, he almost said it. You got to go back and listen to it. He says months, months of it. And this was during the time that, that particular time, that Megan was either pregnant, she was pregnant at the time. So it wasn't quite, you know, whatever. The point is, is that they never told the royal family or the institution, whoever you want to decide, that they were leaving. They were thinking about it, but the royal family was blindsided because they posted that on their face, their their royal fake royal page without letting them know. And they do that all the time. It's like this. Megan says, Oh, let's see if this will work. Let's just do our own thing. We're grown. I'm your wife, Harry. <laughs> I almost say it like, I'm your I'm your wife, Harry. You know, I have a say in this. I have your kids and everything. And I should be treated with respect, Harry. Now, you need to get on your phone and tell your dad to give us those titles right now. And if he doesn't, we're going to put him on there ourselves. Okay? And then Harry go running home with his depressed self. He's depressed. And here's a question for us all. Why was it Megan on there sitting next to him during the therapy session? Wasn't she suicidal? Didn't Megan say she was suicidal and didn't want to live? This was the time she was pregnant with Archie, according to Angela. She was pregnant with Archie at the time. She was going to kill herself. 
And she ain't went to therapy once since she left the UK, but she was suicidal. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> you, I'm about to, listen, trust me. I went through postpartum with the baby and it's still going on. And the thing about that is, is that you, every day is a good day. And, and you deal with it. But all of a sudden, she don't need therapy. I would have thought, since she was suicidal, that she should have been sitting right next to Harry. So on TV with that stupidness, that she's distancing herself because she's getting ready to go at some point and don't want to be associated with that because she know he's making a fool out of herself. And I don't know why she pissed off. Uh, upset about Chris's walk as assessment. Everybody's assessment is correct about you. But I want to digress because I'm making points here. She was suicidal. Let's go. Let's because I, I know I passed that other one. Why would you want anything from an institution that? Made you suicidal and almost want to kill yourself, but you want to be associated with them? Angela said that. And I thought, I think, yeah. Why, why would I want that name attached to me knowing that they did this to me? Like she was, she act like they were killing her. Like she was going through torture. They still do because Harry's still talking about it in this therapy session that she should have been sitting in on. Girl, get yourself a seat next to Harry and hold his hand like you held his hand all through UK. They get on the docuseries and he tells us that they have been planning this for two years, for a long time to leave. So they decided to do it on their own to post that they're mexiting out of there. And I immediately knew why. I said, that's Megan, Megan, Megan. Woohoo! That's why they called it Mexit. Then, <laughs> check this out. So then, you got the Mexit thing going on. But just check this out. That wasn't enough. And so, you can't tell me that a little bit of this is blackmail because this is where I think the blackmail comes in at because there's no way on this green grassy earth and I know that don't make sense that Charles should have approved of these titles and this is why because she's constantly they're constantly going after the royal family constantly Spotify Netflix um spare therapy session uh, sit downs with Anderson Cooper. I mean, if Charles isn't feeling the heat behind that to put pressure on him to give in to their demands, then I don't know what it is because why other reason would Charles give them the titles other than to shut them up for a second? Shh. Because it doesn't matter if they're unpopular. As you can see, Megan really doesn't care. She may a little, but not too much. Not enough to stop. She doesn't care enough to stop the shenanigans like posting and letting us know that these two got christening with the name Princess and Prince, knowing that it hadn't been released on the world website yet. They usually make an announcement. Now, this is the deal. When a baby is born, they make a royal announcement. When some when when things happen, when the queen was passing away, they make an announcement. They let us know. Mm -mm. We didn't know. That lets me know that Harry and Megan said we're gonna do it anyway. And if they didn't, okay. But it doesn't matter. She still took it. She still received it. She received it from the very family that made her suicidal. Pierce Morgan lost his job, but he said, no, she said, no, she wasn't. I don't believe it. I don't believe none of that that she said. Harry, <laughs> Harry's not innocent anymore. He's not. 
I'm not taking up for Harry again. It's, and I probably haven't been, <laughs> but check this out. Let me get my little sip because my throat is dry. So, he's on a therapy session. A therapy, a live therapy session with his idiotic self. This is just a, I thought the book was stupid. But this is just stupider. It's just like, no, don't. Don't do that, please. I, I like him being a prince. I like that he was like this person of, of honor and respect and just prestige like I like the fact that William like like a William but Harry's not that Harry's watered down his status and even the titles that they are so you know what Charles probably said you know what just give it to him I'm sick of her whining about it I'm sick of Megan complaining and, and typing and sending me notes at two or three o'clock in the morning talking about Charles are you gonna give them the titles or what are we gonna have to come out with four more pages it was always, always about the titles. It was always, always about the prestige. Always about getting what you can get. Screw who's giving it to you because that doesn't matter. I just want it. That's how she treats her dad. Daddy, I don't really care nothing about you. You don't even... I, does she? She hasn't spoke to him. <laughs> you can't tell me she give a sh care. I'm not care. I say care. Give a care. <laughs> anyway, we say sugar around here in front of my daughter. Don't give a sugar. You know? No. This is her goal to get titles for them. And like Angela said, they're not going to know the meaning behind it. They're not going to understand it. They're not going to be. It's not the same. It's just going to be a title. They're, I don't, somebody said they're trying to make a new royal family over there in Montecito. You can't. You can't roll it, you can't roll, roll, roll it up over there. That's a watered down version of the real thing. And I, listen, the, can, can, listen, the U.S. don't want a watered down uh, royal family. I don't want no watered down royals over there in Montecito, California. No, I like the U.K., ones that are the real deal that put in the work turn it on sue smith's channel you will see she comes in at the beginning of that sucker and let you know the royals are working <laughs> while megan and harry them over there acting a fool the royals are working constantly showing us who they really are and who they will never be over there in Montecito, but some watered down celebrities. That's how they have reduced themselves to watered down celebrities. That's it. <laughs> That's it. She was out the other day waving and stuff like she's still a princess. Wasn't even nobody even there. But the, remember the paparazzi was after her. <laughs> Where they at? Where is the paparazzi? No, you know you called them up and told them where you were gonna be so they can snap a few two and two of you? That you're out with friends? Megan, you ain't got no friends. Mm -mm. And the friends that you do have, good luck. <laughs> be careful, be careful. And the only thing I gotta say is don't like her as much as she like you cause you will get burned. You are a means to an end. If you're not Oprah, Tyler Perry, or one of them A-listers, does she have respect? Mm -mm. She has nothing for you. Look what she did to her daddy. He totally, he's totally didn't get invited to. Let's move on. That's not what I want to talk about. Okay, I'm coming to an end here. So normally the royal family comes out and announce that, you know, that here comes Princess a little bit and Prince, Prince Archie. But that didn't happen because Meghan decided and Harry decided on their own that they were going to do it. But he, Harry turns around and says that he doesn't want an institution. He wants a family. 
But if you didn't want the institution, then why are you taking from the institution, Harry? Why are you taking titles and things off the shelf, things that don't belong to you, Sussex? And complaining about what they not giving you, like money and security. This is stupid. After you decided that you wanted to get the hell out of there. And after your wife committed, almost committed suicide. She almost committed suicide because she said that the wolves was after her. And now she ain't stepped, she ain't called a doctor. She don't know a doctor's name. Ain't nobody said nothing about her therapy. No, this is her therapy. Planning and plotting and making a fool out of the king. Trying to at least. And Charles is going to have to stop giving into these. Because that's what he's doing. And I'm like Pierce Morgan. Charles, come on. Because... He was not happy that you guys haven't took their titles yet. Because the other day, Megan was on TV talking, had somebody calling out her name, the Duchess of Sussex. <laughs> and like one of my subscribers said, she turned around smiling about, you know, it's just so, oh. Dude, I can't help that we've heard this story before. Like this. If Megan doesn't get her way, this is what she's going to do. You can't tell me that it's not just about these things to the title. It is about making money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why Harry is out there talking about $30, $50 for a book and a, a moment with me on the couch with my therapist. What is Megan telling you to do? Reduce yourself down to this? To embarrass you? I guess. Why would you want anything from an institution that almost killed your wife and made you run to Montecito and jacked up your whole entire childhood to the point where you got to take drugs to cope? Because it's everybody else's fault. It's never Harry and Megan's. <laughs> like Chris Rock said, she hit the light skin lottery and over there complaining. No. Yeah, that's exactly what she's doing. That's exactly what she's doing, um, Chris. That's exactly what she's doing. But she's doing it worse. She's blackmailing the family, too, into getting what she wants. And then when she's done, she's going to spit them back out because there's nothing there. Ooh. My sister got me this from New York when she went. It's so cute for me and my husband. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. There's nothing there. There's nothing in there. It's a... This is Harry's heart. Let's just give it that way. Because he ain't happy. He ain't happy. And then when he looks inside her... Let me do it this way. She, she, she call herself black sometime. And this is him. Can, is there anything in there? Is anything... <gasps> there's not a soul in there. There's not, there's not compassion. There's not empathy. It's not forgiveness. It's not... Oh... It's not just about me. It's about other people. Okay. Might as well go there too. Last thing I want to talk about is that she's upset with Chris Rock. So, you're going to be upset with a lot of folks. Because they're coming for you. Since Charles is not taking it by the horns. And allowing you guys to do what you're doing. Like two spoiled brats. Daddy wouldn't give me security. Daddy won't give us the titles. Daddy wouldn't put out a statement for us when they were coming after my wife. They wouldn't. I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, Daddy married someone else, uh, you know, and I don't like her. Do you think your dad liked who you married? I think I would go with Camilla. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, you don't hear you don't hear William complaining. No, you don't whining and stuff. That's why he's gonna succeed and be successful and run that kingdom like a play. He's gonna do it. Oh, I hope I'm here to see it. Ah, oh, I just his death's just gonna be beautiful to watch. I just wonder what William would do instead of what Charles is doing, like allowing these two idiots 
to just do run amok. That's what they're doing. They're running amok. But I would have been then shut that down long time ago. <laughs> Mama Bear and Daddy Papa Bear. We're shutting this down, baby. We're shutting this Netflix docu do. I will strip you of everything. Almost your birthright. Everything. No, I had I did a video a couple of a day ago saying that I thought Charles was getting ready to um set the st stage since the Frogmore Cottage was taken away from them during, you know, the 24 hour mark after that spare debacle flew open. No. I don't know what Charles is doing. I'm leaving that video up because that's what I thought. I you know, these are my thoughts cuz I'm still just thinking. So but, you know, I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. I believe that this is what Megan's M.O. is. This is what she does with her family and her father. And she's treating, she's showing and teaching Harry what to do. And he's catching on really good, if not doing worse damage. And then just going to just gonna become rules on their own. Screw what Charles said. According to the rules and regulations, my baby is going to be prince and princess I don't care. That's what I thought. That's what made me. Because that's all she wants. That's all she wants from Harry. Is what he can offer. And she's using it up. She's. I mean like it's going fast. Flew him over here. Docu-series. Spare. Da, da, I mean like she is moving. <laughs> she is destroying him so quickly. And he's going to bounce back. He is, cause he's gonna. I don't know. I don't know, cause you. It, because if you ain't feeling it now, unless the drugs. I don't believe he's say. I don't know. I don't know about the drug situation, but if he is, it's probably numbing some of those sensors up there that's making him feel empathy and sad. I think that's all I got, guys. You guys have a one. Hi, hey, hello. Sis, a little bit. Say hello. Say bye-bye.